Cynthia Curtis. I wanted to show you some tips today on my studio apron. This is a pattern you can purchase on my website, tiacurtisquilts.com. It's you know, a very functional apron, it's got a big pocket. You could do two pockets. It's open in the back, closes with a snap or a button, so it doesn't like choke and pull at your throat. Um, I just want to show you a couple things that might make it easier for you after you've bought the pattern. It's first of all, you're going to need the pattern. You buy that from my website. You download it and you go print the apron pattern. You can go have it printed at a print shop for about $4 or you can print it out on your home printer and tape all those pieces together. It's entirely up to you. If it's a pattern that I really like and I know I'm going to use it multiple times, I go ahead and make a muslin out of it. So I just trace the pattern onto a piece of ugly fabric and then fabric I think stores better than long paper. It's up to you. Um, you're going to need some pattern weights. These are just pen cushions that I use. I set them down. You're going to need a rotary cutter, little snips, and if you're going to try to use the snap setter, you'll need the snap setter tool, size 16 snaps, and a rubber mallet, as well as about a yard of fabric to make this apron. And if you want to make an exciting pocket, you can piece a pocket or you can just use scraps or the same color from the, the primary fabric. And this is a great pattern to use that special large scale print that you've been saving. I'm going to be cutting into my very treasured Denise Schmidt cheater print today. <gasps> I'm a little nervous, but I know it's going to be awesome. Okay. So before you make your apron, make sure you've washed and dried your fabric. I like to use a heavier weight fabric like a cotton canvas or a cotton linen blend. It makes for a little heavier, more substantial apron. So my cat has already been across the fabric. He's checked everything out. Mr. Cat Supervisor, everything's okay. Pay attention to your print. Obviously, if it's a directional print, you want it going the correct way. I made a bag video a couple, like a year or so ago, um, and I used a horse print. And I tell you that the most comments I've ever gotten were that my horses were going the wrong way. And you know, it's not a big deal to me, but it was really bothering folks. So think about your, your, your print and make sure it's going the right direction. So here's my pattern. I have printed it onto a piece of fabric. And you want to lay the pattern so that the fold is in the right spot. And what the way I've made this is that you might not even have to um, hem up the back. If you can use your salvage, if you can incorporate the salvage into your apron, that's really quite awesome. If that's something that you're into, you certainly don't have to. So here we go. You just cut it out. And be careful because you're free cutting. You're not using a ruler. So you can hurt yourself quite quickly. Don't do that. So this fabric is a more wide fabric. This is a home deck weight. So I've kind of placed my pattern so that I get the most bang for my buck with this print because it is special and I want the cool things to be um, featured in it. So you just lay it out the same way as regular, regular width or the regular pattern and cut it out. I'll be able to use this for something else. A 
Let's talk pockets. So your apron's gonna need to have a pocket. I love a big pocket so I can put all kinds of stuff in it. Preferably my cell phone so I can listen to podcasts while I work. But also I want a big pocket so if I'm cleaning up the house, I can shove things in the pockets as I do my run through. So this apron, you could have one pocket or two pockets. You could have this nice curved pocket. And there's also a square pocket on in the pattern. So it's a fun thing to kind of fussy cut. So I'm just gonna do a little one. I'm gonna use my pattern weights to hold it down. So I'm gonna have the words all nicely organized. And make sure that you have space for your seam allowance. If you're fussy cutting, you know, remember, we're gonna have to hem this pocket so it'll fit nicely onto your apron. Voila. So look, it's gonna say Central Station West. Won't oh, that be cute? So I have sewn my pocket on, super cute. Now is the next step where we have to turn, press, and stitch all along the edge of our apron. We're gonna do that at the ironing board. So all you do, this is the easiest thing, is you fold it under about a quarter of an inch once and a quarter of an inch again, and you press. Now this iron is hot, hot, hot. So just be careful burning yourself. Don't burn yourself. So boom, I've got it pressed. Now I'm just gonna pin these down and I'm gonna carry on all around the apron. So we do the back. We're gonna press the armhole, the other back, the other armhole, and then the sides and the bottom. I have hemmed the perimeter of my apron. So I pressed it, I turned it, and then I top stitched the neckline, the arm, the back, and the hem. So now what we have to do is we have to sew the shoulders. And I like to use a French seam. And if you're not familiar with a French seam, it's a nice strong way to finish a, a seam. You sew um, wrong sides together with a really narrow stitch, then you flip it inside out and you top stitch that down. So it's gonna make a nice finished seam. You won't see any fray and it's nice and strong. So that's what we're gonna do right now, okay? So our apron's almost done. All we have to do now is put the snaps on and the snaps are so fun. 
So snaps have four parts. They have the covers, they have the socket, and they have the snap. You need all four of these pieces to put in snaps, okay? I like to have my this snap part, this part that sticks up, I want it facing away from me. So I'm gonna want it to go here on top. We put the little cover in first, then we line up where we want the snap to go. Now we set down the next part of the tool. It goes here. Then you put the snap in. Now we do the top. And this is the fun part. We're gonna whack it with this mallet, okay? Don't, don't be shy. You really hit it. Let's go again. It's kind of fun, huh? All right, let's see what happened. That's a pretty snap. Look at that. Next up is the socket part. So you put the spiky bit down first. Now it's going to stab into the right side of the fabric. So make sure you have your fabric laid out correctly. There's this part of the tool. Now the actual socket. Got to look closely. There's a right and a wrong side to those things. All right, here we go again with the mallet. So cute and make sure it snaps together oh wow what a cute little apron you're gonna be the cutest one around I guess technically you really don't even have to sew a button or a snap you can just sew it shut in the back if you want and just bring it through your head dun, dun, dun. oh look at my apron you can make these really fun along the hem. You could sew some cute vintage lace along the bottom, or you can make some adorable little prairie points. I love prairie points. I don't get to use them enough, so I like to use them in along the hem of your apron. Well, I hope you have fun making this apron. You can go buy the pattern from my website, tiacurtisquilts.com, and let me know what you think.